What's good, everybody? This is TiVo. Welcome to Lords of the Long Box and a surprise scoop jam. Scoop jam. In conjunction with our friends over at geekositymag.com, this is actually part one. Part two will be over on Geekosity Mag's YouTube channel. That's right. They're launching their own YouTube channel with great content coming in the future. But first things first, today we're sponsored by Snapping Turtle Gallery. They got hundreds of amazing prints from awesome artists around the world. They're going to weigh five prints and all you have to do is like, be subscribed and comment to this very video. And you'll be entered to win one of five prints from Snapping Turtles Gallery. Bonus points if you comment on what your favorite print is from SnappingTurtleGallery.com. So this is a Mikey Sun exclusive and has something to do with the Sony news that has been dropping recently. And if you've been paying attention, you probably know what this is leading to, but let's get right to it. The relationship between Sony and Disney regarding the Spider-Verse continues to be a tangled web. However, that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's complicated, and both companies have proven they can weave through any obstacles. When Deadline revealed Olivia Wilde will be directing a female-led Spider-Verse film a few weeks ago, questions popped to the surface. If this picture is about Spider-Woman, as they added, which one will it be? After all, there have been a number of them in the Marvel comics. The answer should be simple. Jessica Drew, who is the original and most well-known version of the character. But the film rights to Drew are shared between Sony and Disney. Sony can produce a Spider-Woman movie with Drew. However, she will be Drew in name only for the most part, absent of her roots with the High Evolutionary, Hydra, or S.H.I.E.L.D., all of which are properties of Disney. On the other hand, Marvel Studios can freely utilize Drew anytime they want without Sony's approval. They just can't be Spider-Woman. Given the both scenarios move much of Spider-Woman's appeal, sources indicated that Sony and Disney have discussed collaborating in a movie similar to Tom Holland's Spider-Man. While there is no confirmation that a deal has been secured, insider stress that talks did happen, the uncertainty how or if it's been concluded. One source is confident that Spider-Woman will end up in the MCU as Kevin Feige thinks highly of the property, especially since she is an integral part of Secret Invasion, which Marvel Studios is adapting in Captain Marvel 2. In other Spider-Verse news, similar questions were raised about the Silk TV show that was announced last week. Will that be in the MCU? Currently, no. But Deadline also reported of complicated web of multi-platform rights for the various characters in regards to Silk being streamed on Amazon. Those phantom legal issues are related to Disney, Mikey is told. So while Silk isn't being planned for the MCU for the moment, that may change as well. And this is the problem with Sony and Disney shared characters. A lot of them are in the comics, started in Spider-Man comics, but then branched off and did other things. If you take the example of Jessica Drew and Spider-Woman, she initially started as Spider-Woman, but then she kind of grew into the character of just Jessica Drew, and then she came back to Spider-Woman. If you think about Silk, she first debuted in Amazing Spider-Man number four, or Spider-Man number one, if you're counting the cameo, but eventually has appeared in other series, such as the new Agents of Atlas. So there's a lot of complicated things here, but if both sides think that this is beneficial financially for both, I'm pretty sure they'll strike a deal, just like they ended up doing with Tom Holland and Spider-Man. So if you want the other part of this scoop, go peep out our friends at Geekosity Mag's new YouTube channel. I'll leave a link in the description below. And for great content, I will be on there every now and then hosting some great stuff. There's be tons of stuff. We're gonna talk toys, comics, movies, probably Kate Valdez, cause that's a big friend of Mikey Sutton, but we will all see you soon, man. So until next time, boys and girls, keep digging in them long boxes. Peace out.